Yo, what's going on? Today's video, I'm about to show you guys how to change a part's weight or mat. Like in Roblox, it's called mass, but um, it's another. You can say it's another word for weight if you don't know what mass is and stuff. I mean, I would assume you know what the word mass means, but yeah. But yeah, though. So I'm gonna show you guys how to change it and stuff. It's pretty simple. It's gonna be a pretty short video, All right? So let's say we have a part, right? And let's scale it. I'm gonna scale it so it's like kind of like a box, like we can move it, right? And then you you don't want to anchor it because obviously you don't want it. Uh, what's it called? You don't want it to um. What's the word? Okay, there you go. All right, I had to make sure this wasn't falling through the load or anything. But yeah, but you don't want to anchor it and stuff because you want it to be able to be moved, right? And what you want to do is come down here and you want to enable custom physical properties and open this. Because as you guys can see, you can't manually change mass. What you have to do is edit density. The mass of an object is is automatically calculated based on these numbers and stuff. If like, look, if I change this to like one, you see it auto updates and stuff. It's auto calculated. So the mass of the object is obviously is based on like the size of the part and stuff like that. If I made the part smaller, if I scaled it down a little, it's just, as you guys can see, the mass like went down and stuff. So yeah, so changing the density pretty much has like the biggest effect on like the mass and stuff. So let's say um you want it to be like. Actually no, I'm gonna show you guys like while we test it, right? Let's go ahead and click play, right? But to put it simply, you would just change the density of it, right? Like enable custom physical properties and uh, change the density of it, right? Now look, as you guys can see, obviously I can't move it, like it's just it's too it's like too heavy, right? It weighs too much and stuff. So if I go down to the part and let's say I change the density, uh, when I find okay, there we go. I don't know, change it like zero, right? That really lowers the mass. As you guys can see, I can I can now move this. The density plays a really big role in it, right? As as you guys can see, I can actually move it now. If I change this to like zero point four, it becomes a little bit harder. No, pause on that. But zero point eight, and then uh, as you guys can see, like, I don't even. Yeah, actually no, we can't even move it. Try zero point six, and yeah, we can move it, but we're struggling. A then, as you guys can see, it just, yeah, can't even move it now. So, yeah, that's pretty much how you change a part's weight slash mass and stuff. Hope this video was helpful and stuff. Because, yeah, I feel like that's useful to people and stuff. Like, when you're trying to make, like, like, simple physics and stuff, like, moving stuff around. But, yeah, hope this video was helpful. If it was, leave a like and subscribe. Link to join my Roblox group and Discord can be found in the description. Appreciate y'all for watching. Thank you guys for 250, 250 subscribers. Uh, I already know how y'all be, so I already know y'all showing hello love right now. The channel is probably at like 260, 270 by the time, I mean, 267, 460 or 470 by the time you guys are watching this. Keep in mind, I'm recording this video, it's still January. Y'all are watching this video like February 8th. Yeah, like, like we're already a week in February. By the time you're watching this, I'm, I'm like, I'm recording this and it's still January. So at the moment, my sub time is 450. So we'll probably be like at 470 or something. But yeah, appreciate y'all for watching and I'll see you guys.